What's up guys? In today's episode we take you with us in our self-converted camper run as we explore the Lofoten Islands in the Arctic Circle. Hiking the wildest mountains. Practicing the art of Arctic swimming. Living in the most wild and beautiful environments. Filming in extreme weather conditions. And the best of it, hunting northern lights. This is our new parking spot, just for one night. After driving for weeks, we found ourselves in this parking lot in Bodo. We missed the last ferry to the Lofoten Islands and uh, needed to spend the night somewhere. Norway has this raw beauty that touches everywhere you park. Even the surroundings of the most random parking lots can blow you away. The next morning I went for a run with Aspen, uh, got the van ready and went to the harbor, this time with a reservation. This was already the end of the summer and the only real chance that we had to catch northern lights was to actually drive as north as possible right into the Arctic Circle. We chose these islands after hearing a lot about them, about their landscape, northern lights, surf spots and how incredible the nature was there. And to be honest the anticipation was killing us as we were about to find out on our own after three weeks driving. Virginia, the Island. Finally, Hi. after three weeks. High expectations. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reality. No, no, it's okay. I'm just recording you guys. <laughs> Right on our arrival, we could already feel that this place was a special one. Huge rocky mountains surrounded by ice cold blue water, red houses standing on wooden piles over the water, hundreds of small islands everywhere you stopped or looked at was just stunning. Is it good? That day we had lunch at my local spot and I started looking for a place to park and spend the night at. It was Monday and the northern lights hadn't shown yet since last season, but predictions said they were getting closer to us. Next day we wanted to hike to Valdica beach and cook lunch out in the open. 
It was a very cloudy day and the rain was threatening us since we woke up, but we wanted to give it a try. The beginning of the hike was easy and got more difficult and muddier as we progressed. We were getting rain on and our clothes were really not the best for that and the pants started to get heavier and heavier from all the water it was soaking but oh man, the views made it so worth it. Suspend, rain cap. <laughs> I don't know. What's wrong? You got mad in your face. That's been attacking me. <laughs> Look at him. What's the name? How is the hike so far, baby? It's pretty good. It's kind of wet. Um, <laughs> intense. Eugenia's pace is way too fast for myself. I asked her to stop for um snack break. <laughs> Aspen, you want to snack me? We decided to set camp overseeing the beach and cook lunch. But unfortunately, the rain started going way too strong to keep filming. Even with the camera rain cover on, the camera was getting wet. So we enjoyed a tasty and a bit wet lunch and headed back to the van without filming. How was the hike yesterday? <laughs> Fun and wet. <laughs> so you're trying to to dry everything here with the heater on. Raspin is destroyed. Lolita is also very close to the heating source. <laughs> we were completely under underprepared yesterday. Don't you agree? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think these are winterproofed. We need to go find new new shoes because. If we want to hike out there again, we better prepare ourselves because it's super wet. This is not Portugal, Lydia. <laughs> Lydia, to go to the coffee shop? <laughs> we were planning on doing another hike this day, but after the experience from the first hike, we realized that if we wanted to be out in nature until late and explore and take pictures for the project that we were working on, we needed to invest in technical clothing for this very unpredictable weather. One minute the sun is out and you start sweating, and the next minute it's raining like crazy and you get all wet. So we went out to take pictures of the lake where we parked that night and left to go to a small village to have coffee and pay a visit to a hiking store. <laughs> you, you are not recording me, are you? <laughs> Man. I have an issue here in Norway that uh, there are a lot of waterfalls. Can you hear the waterfall? So every time that I hear water falling, I need to pee. So I'm like 
peeing on myself like every so I'm like that's why you're wet <laughs> <laughs> I said it wrong though <laughs> that's why I need to pee like every 10 minutes man I feel like an old man Alright guys, we just parked here, um, we found this on a guide that uh, one of you guys sent us, thank you very much Lucas and Cassia, we found a lot of good places thanks to you guys, and uh, look at this, this is gonna be our backyard for today, today we bought more equipment so we can actually hike properly, you know, instead of like all wet and cold, I bought these boots, Aspen didn't get any boots, that's a coat that she got, now I'm not cold anymore. You're gonna be wearing that at and night. And we can open all the doors <laughs> in the <back>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We got like actual rain jackets. So tomorrow I think we're gonna try a new hike, aren't we? Yes. Are you sore? Not at all. <laughs> you? <laughs> I am super sore, man. I am super strong. <laughs> <laughs> back <laughs> all in one piece you are super destroyed <laughs> <sighs> I, I have to say that the other day I said to Eugenia that hiking wasn't like an actual sport just because you are walking but I might consider it a sport now <sighs> how many how many kilometers do we do 40 more or less huh? <laughs> <laughs> Four, 45 we did 48 kilometers today it's not our longest hike and you know sometimes you need just to stretch your legs she's pissed Would you like to try their coffee? Their what? Their coffee. The next day we overheard a conversation of a local while having coffee. They were very excited about the northern lights that were coming that night. So we packed everything and headed north to Angstad Beach. It is a surf spot well known for a long and nice left wave that we were dying to ride. Yeah, do you want to surf? Not worth it. 
<laughs> but you said you were going to do Arctic surfing. If there were any surf. <laughs> but it's too cold and there is no surf. <laughs> Unfortunately, that day the swell was not strong enough to produce it, but we found a very beautiful made white little chapel. On our way to the next parking lot, this concrete house called our attention, so we stopped the van and got out to see it up close. What a great design, a full concrete building with a beautiful scale, painted red to blend into the town landscape, um, with nice details everywhere you look at. Nothing fancy, no fireworks, just great design and proportions. That is always the way to go. Even Aspen and Lolita could not resist to take a look at it. This spot was given to us by Theo and B from the Indie Project. Thank you very much, guys. This is premium spot. I think we are spending the night here. I mean, look at this place. I'm 100% free. Thank you, guys, for the tip. Have you noticed that um, every time that we park, Lolita is unleashed and Aspen is on a leash? <laughs> it's like the completely opposite that you would think. We have a well-trained unleashed cat and a dog that we need to leash because if not he runs away to kill sheep basically I don't see any sheep here but I'm sure there are we're about to leave and um, we stayed up until late at night yesterday because like around 10 30 or so we saw northern lights coming from behind that uh, mountain And also we saw them coming from behind the van and uh, I mean we seen them once but uh, very shortly and yesterday was just fantastic so we got both of our cameras out and I was shooting pictures and Eugenia was shooting pictures and videos I'm gonna put some of the pictures here because it was just fantastic man this morning has been a little bit slow we woke up like at 9 30 or so very tired and right after waking up we were attacked by a group of locals Aspen helped a little bit with them, but it was Eugenia mostly who did the job to scare them off. So yeah, and then after that we just spent part of the morning here chilling, just having breakfast and recovering from yesterday. After that we went on a hike, we wanted to see if there were any surf. And there wasn't pretty much any waves, so we continued walking to the village and had coffee. We're gonna go grab coffee there and we just walk from there. I don't know how we're gonna make it back, Eugenia. With the coffee <laughs> <laughs> in our blood. <laughs> we just made it all the way down and it's closed there and there are like 20 ships protecting the door. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. Aspen, Aspen, tranquilo, tranquilo. Eh, hey, tranquilo. All right, we made it. What does that mean, man? Anybody knows? Maybe it's electrified. Ah! <laughs> 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 Pretty good. Aspen, you're being attacked, man. <laughs> you're not that brave anymore. <laughs> Aspen, 
<laughs> are you hungry, Aspen? <laughs> They, they are so brave, man. I think this is the bravest sheep I have ever seen. The youngest one. Yeah. And they are super cute. That was fantastic. And we have one. For dinner? <laughs> And now we are just getting ready for an actual Northern Lights hunt. Yesterday in the coffee shop in the morning, we met a guy and he was sitting randomly there and we, and we started talking. And he actually uh, does these like, you know, adventures where like people go with him to chase like big epic Northern Lights. There was someone passing there and he still cannot vlog with someone looking at me. We, we got to talk and he was a super nice guy and at the end he said hey, if you want to join tomorrow just, just join so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna drive for like I think it's like an hour and 15 minutes or so and I might take this camera with me um, just to vlog a little I don't know if it's gonna be possible or not but I'm gonna try all right guys hi Jan hi how are you doing <laughs> ah, still moving Good morning. Good. Yeah. <laughs> in our last uh, full year in uh, 2019. Yes. I thought we started. You guys are so drunk, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he can see me, though. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to come with us, but he's too drunk, man. I had to leave. <laughs> Boss could play with the Boccalinas and the rest were summer food. And also we have spotted in this fjord for the first time blue whale. That scared the life out of uh, two kayakers that was out because they started jumping very close to them. Steep mountains means also a deep fjord, so this is a good fishing fjord for cod. Thank you very much, man. It was fantastic. Yeah, it was. We were lucky. Yeah. Really lucky. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Remember to drive carefully, all right? We will. We got here last night very late and it was very dark so we couldn't see where we were actually parking and this morning we woke up and it was such a surprise man like look at this it is fantastic the northern lights hunt yesterday was beautiful and we had everything that you can imagine it was very cloudy so we were driving for like around 40 minutes or so it didn't look very promising because clouds were super thick and for a moment we thought okay just call it a day and we tried but luckily he was able to find another place uh, where the clouds disappear all the sudden it was truly magical I mean it was much stronger than what we have experienced 
until yesterday. So, I mean, it looked like daylight. Uh, the video doesn't, doesn't make it justice, but the, you know, the real life and the pictures, I mean, it was so good. And we had to change the settings really quickly because, you know, if all the images were like pretty much white, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't really believe it. And uh, we had a great time with him. I truly recommend him if you are planning to do this. Um, is this not a sponsor or anything like that? He's just a great guy. Now I think we're gonna take a dip in the lake. I don't know how I feel about it, but Eugenia really wants to do it, so I'm gonna just follow her. It's like addictive. I know, it's like addictive. Oh, now you don't feel this, this skin. We broke the lens. Mm, we? You? Who dropped it? <laughs> no. Who put the camera on the tripod without... Closing it? Who drop it? <laughs> <laughs> this is how you fix a broken lens. This is our wide angle. And um, if it doesn't work, we're gonna miss it very much, man. Do you think that is going to hold the weight? I think so. I think it doesn't move anymore. And now I'm concerned, like, if this added th thickness here is gonna fit the actual camera, you know what I mean? We oh, have used right. this lens for 90% of it. our content. Um, breaking it was a very sad moment. It is the first time that we break any camera gear, but um, you know, at the end of the day, it is a tool and we did use it a lot for our videos. If you would like to help us getting a replacement, we're open for one-time donations. All of you that help, your name will be in the next episode. I want to take a moment before explaining what are we doing in this cabin to thank everyone that used my Squarespace code in the past months and to Squarespace for supporting us creating this content and for being the platform that we have used for the past eight years to sell our products as independent designers. They make it extremely easy to create beautiful websites without any previous experience and you don't need to know any web coding at all as the whole site building process is completely interactive. We have been selling our cabin and workshop layout kits, structural kits and construction guides smoothly for the past year and a half. And you can also sell physical products and even your time. They offer many different features like portfolios, domains, blogging tools, pretty much anything you could ever need to start your own site. They offer a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash modernhousecabin to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. With this code, you not only get 10% off, you will also be helping us as creators to keep making these videos.
Are you drinking a gin and tonic? Gin on the rocks. Gin on the rocks. Virginia made her specialty zucchini soup yesterday night, we didn't film it. After a full month driving and exploring in our van, we needed to find a place where we could edit with some comfort. Lolita, no. Do laundry, cook good food, and overall recover from all the cold and humidity of living pretty much out in the open. Every video takes us around three full days of work to edit. So having a proper desk, a good chair, and internet to be able to upload it for you guys was great. Find yourself a man that can cook. <laughs> like you? Like me. <laughs> but I'm, I'm taking, I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry guys! <laughs> We're still alive. Eugenia, you can see her, but she's there. Been working for like two days straight. Not much filming. We have one night more, no? One night? And then we're back into the wild, man. Out there. <laughs> All right, guys. This is over. The episodes are being exported right now. Eugenia finished a little bit earlier than myself. But her computer is slower. <laughs> 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 so my video is gonna be exported earlier. I'm sorry, Yenia. As of tomorrow, we are back in the van, which is waiting there for us to go explore. And it's going to be crazy, guys. We already did the research and it is way better than the places that we have already been. All right, say bye to the Little cabin. Well, little, not so little. Ha <laughs> ha!